hello and greetings to everyone in this video we are going to be looking at a solution of june 2021 for that math paper 2 question 7 it came from a topic named similarity transformations otherwise called similitude now the question reads a transformation f on a complex plane is defined by z prime is equal to 2iz plus 3 minus 3i roman 1 Find the image of the point z equal to 2 plus i, 1 mark. Roman 2. Determine the invariant point of f, 2 marks. Roman 3. Show that f is a similarity transformation, that is a similitude, stating its radius, 2 marks. And Roman 4. What is the geometric interpretation of your, of your result, 1 mark. So, Previously, I did a video on complex transformations. So if you have not watched the video yet, please do watch the video so that along the line in our solution here, you are not going to be lost. Let's kick started with the solution. So we define the transformation that was given to us, which is a transformation F defined by Z prime equal to 2iZ plus 3 minus 3i. Now the first part of the equation is asking us to find the image of the point z equal to 2 plus i. So the transformation f is simply taking a point z to the point z prime. So transforming the point z to its image. Now this means that if we want to find the image of the point z equal to 2 plus i, it simply means f of 2 plus i will be equal to that image. But what is f of 2 plus i? It is the image. But how do we find the image? It is 2iz plus 3 minus 3i. But our z is 2 plus i. So we replace z with 2 plus i. I have indicated in red to distinguish um, the points. Okay, so z prime, we expand. We have 4i plus 2i squared plus 3 minus 3i. But we should recall the basic identity i squared is equal to negative 1. By so doing, we replace i squared with negative 1 and we try to do some algebra and we get z prime to be equal to 1 plus i as the image of the point z equal to 2 plus i. Now the second part of the equation is asking us to determine the invariant point of f. What is the invariant point? If the invariant point is i, whose affix is z i, it simply means that f of z i is equal to z i meaning under the transformation f the point is mapped onto itself so by so doing it simply, it simply means f of z i is replacing z here with z i so we have 2 i z i plus 3 minus 3 i to be equal to z i so we do a little bit of algebra and we get z i to be 3 minus 3i divided by, divided by 1 minus 2i. So it is left on to you to rationalize. Multiply the top and the bottom of this equation by the conjugate of the denominator and you are going to get your response. Do well to comment your answer on the comment section so that we can see if it is correct or, or false. Okay, the third part of the equation is asking us to show that f is a similarity transformation, that is a similitude, stating, stating its radius. So if I consider two points A and B in the plane, whose affix are ZA and ZB respectively, and the, their images are the points A' prime and B' prime with affix ZA' prime and ZB' prime respectively under this transformation. It simply means that, what, that the transformation takes the point A to the point A' prime. By so doing, ZA prime will be equal to 2IZA plus 3 minus 3I. So I simply replace Z prime here with the affix of the image of the point A and ZA with the affix of the point A. Same thing happens to B. It takes the point B to the point B prime. So I replace the affix and I get this equation. Now, in the video that I did concerning complex transformations we said that if this situation happens then if the transformation f is a similarity transformation then the difference or the distance between the images of the points 
is a scalar multiple of the distance between the points so that is simply what we are going to show after showing that if it works then we can conclude that f is a similarity transformation because this property geometrically is correct okay so if i subtract equation one that that is taking the first equation minus the second equation i am going to get z a prime minus z b prime to be equal to 2i z a minus 2i z b now these two guys are the same so their difference is going to give zero so in this case we see 2i is going to be common so we can factor out 2i and we have 2i into z a minus z b but remember we are dealing with distances because this difference is going to give us a complex number because z a prime and z b prime are complex numbers even this difference is going to give us a complex number so to have a distance we simply take the modulus the modulus of a complex number is simply the distance so we have taken the modulus on both sides of the equation we have the modulus of the left hand side to be equal to the modulus of the right hand side now we can see something in the right hand side we can easily find the modulus of 2i so we can the properties of modulus the modulus of 2i times the modulus of this complex number is the modulus of 2i times the modulus of this complex number so this is what we have but we know what the modulus of 2i is it's simply 2 so we have the modulus of z a prime minus z b prime which simply represents the distance between z a and z b between z a prime and z sorry between a prime and b prime is equal to 2 times the modulus of z a minus z b the modulus of z a minus z b represents the distance between the point a and b so by conclusion we can say f is a similarity transformation with radius k equal to 2 when we compare if you don't if you don't want to call it the radius you call it the scale factor but anyway since the equation is saying stating its radius we just respect so the radius is k is equal to 2 comparing this and this we see this is this distance this is this distance so our k is equal to 2 which is a radius the last part says what is a geometric interpretation of your result simply f is an enlargement with scale factor k equal to 2 followed by something but why is it an enlargement generally all similitudes are enlargements in the video that i did concerning complex transformations we saw what we called a homotety a homotety is simply a reduction or an enlargement if it is a reduction then the scale factor k is less than one if it is an enlargement then the scale factor k is greater than one so by by this <coughs> definition we can say that a similitude or a similarity transformations all of them are generally enlargements because their scale factors are always greater than one in this case we have seen an example the scale factor is equal to 2 but it is being followed by something it is an enlargement of scale factor k equal to 2 followed by a translation about the vector 3 negative 3 so about this vector it causes a translation so it enlarges and then now it follows a translation if you don't know about enlargements if you don't know about translations do well to watch the video on complex transformations that I previously did is going to make you to understand better. Thank you for your time and see you later.